All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my kitchen for another video. I'm Derek from Simnet Nutrition, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys three awesome sauces that are made with healthy ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen that's gonna make your healthy food taste even better. So a couple weeks ago, I put up a video called Three Vegan Sauces You Can Put On Anything. And you guys seemed to really like that video and got a lot of value out of it. So I'm basically doing it again, but with different sauces. So these will be really versatile. Again, you can put them on salads, on stir fries, really whatever you want. And they're really simple using ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen, which makes it even better. Oh yeah, I will be putting the recipes in the description box down below to make it easy for you guys. But you should watch the video anyways, because you'll probably learn a few things. <laughs> so for two out of these three sauces, you definitely need a blender. But for this first First one you don't you just need a whisk and this is probably the one that I use the most if I just need something really quick to whip up um, I'll definitely do a variation of this so let me show you guys so this first one's just gonna be a really simple lemon tahini dressing so all you're gonna need is some spicy brown mustard some tahini maple syrup lemon salt pepper you could obviously get crazy with all the spices you put in here garlic powder onion powder some cumin uh, whatever you want to put in here and it would probably be good but I really like this just really simple and as is so I'll show you guys the amounts so what I like to do is make enough sauce for a few days so this is definitely not a single serving uh, you can definitely stretch this over a few meals so for this one we're gonna start with four tablespoons of tahini the juice of a whole lemon we're gonna do one tablespoon of maple syrup so you could also use a date if you wanted for this, but then you would have to blend it. So I'm just trying to keep this one really simple for you guys. This is how we get maple syrup in Canada by the leader. <laughs> Cue the keto crowd. All right, um, a nice big tablespoon of that spicy brown mustard, and then just some salt and pepper to taste. So I'm gonna add about a third of a teaspoon to start. We'll see. And then I have a half a cup of water here. So I'm not gonna add all of it to begin with just because it does vary depending on like how juicy your lemons are and that sort of thing. Uh, so it's always easier to add water to a recipe than take it away. So I'm just gonna start by adding about three quarters of this half a cup. You do the math, I don't know how much that is. And then you just wanna whisk it all together. So I didn't need that last little bit. So just under a half a cup of water to this. And you can see it's a pretty nice consistency so far, but the cool thing about this is lemon actually helps tahini to thicken. Uh, so as you kind of let it sit and stir it a little bit, it will continue to get thicker than this. So I let it sit for a few minutes and it definitely got a bit thicker, but the important part is how it tastes. Wow, yeah, this one's so good. It's like nice and like fresh because of the lemon, but creamy from the tahini and it just like all goes together so, so well. So like I said, you can put this on just about anything. It'll go great on salads or stir fries or like big Buddha bowls. Yeah, I think you guys are really going to like this one. So I know I've mentioned this before in my other videos, but this sauce is a really good example of it. So I'll explain it again. Um, so three kind of flavors that I like to think about when I'm creating sauces are something sweet, something salty and something tangy. And if you can combine those three components into a sauce, generally you can come out with something that's pretty tasty. Uh, so for this one, if you think about sweet, we used maple syrup. You could also use a date or any other number of sweeteners. Uh, for salty, we used salt, <laughs> which is pretty simple, but you could use, you know, miso or tahini, or sorry, tamari. And then uh, for tangy, the lemon in this is very tangy, but also the mustard is gonna give it a little bit of a tangy taste as well. So. Yeah, just a little pointer for you guys if you want to kind of, you know, try and create your own sauces. All right, on to the next one. So the next one I'm going to show you is a carrot ginger turmeric sauce. It's a little bit different, but it's super tasty. It has some really great anti-inflammatory properties and it is a little bit more ingredient heavy than the first one I showed you. But like I said in the beginning, they are all ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, so I just got everything out that I need to make this sauce and you can see it's nothing too crazy, all stuff that you have seen before, but I will highlight this here and what we have here are some toasted sesame seeds. So this is important to get the full flavor of this sauce and I actually made these myself just from regular sesame seeds. It's really easy to do and they have a really, really nice, like super strong nutty flavor. Uh, so it's definitely worth having some of these around, even just to sprinkle on top of salads and stuff. So to make these, what I did was just preheated a saute pan or skillet to uh, medium, medium, low heat. And then I just added some raw sesame seeds 
and just kept on moving the pan around and moving them around until they started to get a little bit brown, just like this. And then for the rest of the ingredients, we've got some tamari, some rice vinegar, some onion, carrots, some turmeric, ginger, a couple cloves of garlic there, and that's about an eighth of an avocado, and then some water. So I'm gonna be using seven small carrots for this one. I'm gonna chop them up first to make it a little easier on the blender. And I don't know if this will work in a regular powered blender, but I know it works really well in a high-speed blender like a Vitamix, but you'll just have to try it out. And if you find your blender has a really tough time blending them up, you can always chop them a little bit smaller. So seven small carrots. That's a random ingredient, okay. And then I have a thumb-sized chunk of ginger. I'm gonna chop this up a little bit too. And then I'm gonna put in about half the amount of turmeric as I did ginger, so half a thumb's worth, I guess. Maybe like a pinky finger. So I should probably chop that too. So I have a few chunks of onion that's going in there and it's about a third of a cup or so of onion. I've got those two cloves of garlic. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the toasted sesame seeds. So you'll see a lot of recipes, especially like Asian cooking, it calls for toasted sesame seed oil. Uh, but you can actually just do this and then blend it up in there and you get really similar flavors. And then I'm gonna be adding the salty component to this sauce and we're using tamari for this. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of tamari. And then I'm gonna be using this rice vinegar for the tangy component of it. You could obviously use something like apple cider vinegar or balsamic vinegar as well, but I like the way that this works in it. So we're gonna be using quite a bit of this. It's six tablespoons that I figured to be kind of the right amount, but if you want it less tangy, you can obviously use less. More tangy, use more. And then I've got this small slice of avocado. It's about an eighth of an avocado, and it's just gonna help everything to emulsify and just get kind of creamy and stick together and everything. It's a really nice little addition. And then as with most of my sauces, I'm just gonna use water to thin it out. I have two cups of water here, but I'm not gonna use all of it at first, so I'll use about a cup and a half to start. Blend this up. So the carrots will do a pretty good job at sweetening this, but if you wanted it a bit sweeter, you could obviously add some maple syrup or some dates. So look at the color of this, so nice. Not gonna pour it out like I did in that old video of mine. I know you guys are always waiting for it. Man, it smells amazing. So this made a ton of sauce, but unlike the other one, it's not nearly as calorically dense, so you can kind of go pretty crazy with this one on your food. So let's try it out. Mmm. Wow. This is so good. You could probably have it as like a cold soup if you want. I think there's a name for that, isn't there? Gazpacho? You won't believe how the toasted sesame seeds just changes like the whole flavor of this. It's really, really good. I think you guys are gonna like this one. Mm. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to add a couple pinches of black pepper. So it's always good to have some black pepper when you have something with turmeric in it because it helps our body to absorb the turmeric. So just like the other ones, you could have this with a cold dish like a salad or something, or you could definitely have it on something hot like a Buddha bowl or a stir fry or something. We did that the other night. I had it with a nice big bowl of veggies and some tempeh and some rice, and it went so nicely on top of that. All right, so this last one is another super simple one, but you do need the blender, where is it? Okay, so this next one I'm gonna show you is a creamy balsamic vinaigrette. And I don't know if those words are supposed to go together in traditional cooking, but they are today here in this kitchen. Uh, so it's really, really simple. I won't show you guys all the ingredients. I'll just get right into the amounts on this one. All right, so into the blender it goes an eighth of an avocado, two pitted medjool dates, a good sized teaspoon of onion powder, A big teaspoon of garlic powder. And you could obviously use fresh garlic if you wanted, but uh, I just like to switch it up. And then I'm gonna be adding six tablespoons of this organic balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna add a good pinch or two of salt and pepper. So obviously is optional, but I do like to have a little bit of salt in my sauces. I don't add any of it to my cooking. So I find this is about the only salt I'm gonna be having with the meal. And I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of water. So I added all of it this time, and this one's really easy to fix. If it is too thin, you can just add a little bit more avocado and it'll thicken it up, but it should be good like this. All right, so you can see, not the prettiest color with this one, I'll admit, but it is really tasty, so it makes up for it. So yeah, really nice consistency. It's definitely a little bit thick. Avocado is so good for thickening sauces. 
and uh, let's taste it. Mmm, super good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I try and pretend like I haven't had these sauces like a dozen times, but yeah, this is really good still. <laughs> So again, for me, this sauce can go either way. It could go on a stir fry or on a salad or pretty much anything in between. Um, but I do kind of prefer this one on a salad. I just find that it's really, really nice the way that it like coats the salad leaves and yeah, it just makes everything taste. So definitely give it a try. I think you guys will like this one too. So if you guys wanted to, you could make this sauce or any of the ones that I've made spicy by adding a teaspoon or two of hot sauce. I often do that and it definitely like brings it to life for sure. So if you like spice, you'll definitely have to try that. All right, so I think that's it for this video. I've just made myself a nice bowl here. I'm so hungry and it's dinner time, so this worked out perfectly. And I'm definitely not short on any sauces for this dinner. So I put on that carrot ginger turmeric sauce on this and it looks so, so good. I might actually add a little of this one too. <laughs> now that looks so good. All right, so just before I say goodbye here, let's have a bite of this together and see how everything tastes. So I've just got a little salad that I made and then this sort of like lentil uh, sweet potato rice sort of dish that I've been making lately in the Instant Pot and uh, some broccoli as well. So good. Definitely not boring. Look at all the colors. Man, I love it. So cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the sauces. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Definitely tag me on Instagram at Simnet Nutrition. If you guys make any of these, you know I love to see your creations using my recipes. Man, so good. I just love how these sauces are like healthy as well. So yeah, it just makes the meal so much better. All right guys, so, so much love for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care, bye.